Hey guys, it is DBuzz from thequeenbuzz.com and today I am bringing you my best of 2013. I know you guys are getting familiar with the fact that I am doing the best of each month. At the end of the month, I'm letting you know all the products that I have fun playing with and, and I like to bring you guys those products, but I don't always necessarily know just after using them for a month or so if they are products that I would repurchase, if I would recommend to you. So there's a little bit of a difference between my monthly favorites and my yearly favorite. So I am bringing you the best of 2013 in skincare, cosmetics, nails, and a little bit of fashion. And basically, I just gonna, I'm going to run through everything very quickly because I don't want this video to take so long that you guys get bored. But I guarantee if you grab yourself a cup of coffee, maybe a glass of wine, by the time you're done drinking it, you will have heard everything that I loved in 2013. So I'm gonna get right into it and I wanna let you know ahead of time that these are products that I would repurchase, that I would 100% stand behind, recommend to you guys. And these are products that I have gotten so much enjoyment out of using and have really done a lot for my skin, um, how I feel about when I'm dressed, whatever it may be. These are just products that from January to December, I've reused over and over again and I really just love and wanna share. So I do have a notebook in front of me, so I don't think it's a little odd if I'm looking down, but I have all my categories and I'm gonna start with facial cleanser. And it's absolutely no secret that the best of 2013 for face cleanser is Purity by Philosophy. I, I, don't, I, I can't keep saying it because I feel like this is all I ever talk about, but this is, <clears throat> excuse me, my absolute favorite for facial cleanser. And again, I'm not gonna get into every product, but you can look at my monthlies to see why it is I love these products and get a little more information about each one of them. So moving on to moisturizer. A new little find this year was the Josie Moran 100% pure argan oil. It's for all skin tones, but basically because I'm so dry, this really just does so much for my dry skin. So this is my moisturizer. I use it in the morning, I use it at night, and I absolutely love it. Okay, moving on to body moisturizer. This is another new one for 2013. It is by Soap and & Glory and it is called The Righteous Butter. And it is a body butter and I can't even believe that there's not more missing, but I'm actually so afraid for it to end that I don't use as much of it as I'd love to. I really wanna soak myself up in this, but I take my time and I'm going through it slowly because it's not that inexpensive, and so therefore, I just want it to last, and I love this. If you guys have not tried this out, this brand, Soap & Glory, there's a lot of products under this category that I would highly recommend you checking out. Next is eye cream, and it is Bare Minerals Renew and Hydrate Eye Cream. This one is just a sample size, the other one, if you were to purchase this product, comes in a, in a bigger tube, but I, um, this is amazing. It's very gentle, it's for sensitive skin, and it does not um, make you greasy at all. It very much seeps in quickly. It's doing wonders for the sensitive skin around my eyes. So now we're gonna move on to the primer for the face. This is what we put on after our moisturizer, but before we do our foundation. And again, no secret, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer wins. I have tried a bunch of these throughout last year, and I'm sure I'm gonna try out a whole bunch for 2014, but this one still stands the test of time with me. Definitely a holy grail product, as, as they say, and I would repurchase this over and over and over. Love this one. Moving on to foundation. I have two ideas for foundation. On my light days, I go with the Smashbox, Camera Ready BB Cream, but on a day where I want a little more full coverage, I go for Makeup Forever's HD High Definition Foundation. This one is so much more full coverage. This just really, really airbrushes your face out, but I gotta be honest, because I self-tan, I can get away with using the BB Cream, which is a lighter coverage, but also does give you a nice glow to your face, and it also moisturizes at the same time. So it just depends on my day. These are my two favorites I would repurchase and I will continue to use. I love them. Okay, moving on to concealer. I am in love with Max 
Pro Longwear Concealer. This one again is a full coverage concealer. You can also use it as an eyeshadow base. So I use this all around the eye and then I usually use my beauty blender to make sure that I get a, a nice um, seeping into my skin. I don't want it to lay on top of my skin. So that beauty blender that I had mentioned in my December favorites really does help with getting this product to get right into the skin and lay where it's supposed to. My second favorite is from the drugstore and it is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Concealer. I would also consider this a bit of a highlighter. I don't feel that this does as much coverage as it does as much brightening the eye area and highlighting the eye area. My color, my favorite color, I've tried a few, is the Neutralizer. It's more of a yellow base and this is such a phenomenal product from the drugstore. So that's probably my second favorite. Okay, moving on to powder. Makeup Forever's HD High Definition Powder is by far my favorite powder. Again, I've used a numerous amounts of powders throughout the year. With dry skin, you have to be very careful what powder you use that it does not cake onto your skin. So I find that this HD powder by Makeup Forever just does the trick. It blends all my makeup without leaving any kind of cakiness to my face. Okay, eyeshadow base. I found that I am loving the NYX eyeshadow base. It is in skin tone. Looks like this. Comes in a few, I think it comes in clear and maybe one other color. I go with skin tone. I put this on right before I'm about to put my eyeshadow on and it makes my eyeshadow last a whole lot longer. Then for eyeshadows, this is my favorite eyeshadow palette of the year, 2013. So many great palettes came out. A zillion, too many to even mention. You guys can check out all those palettes on YouTube. So many people talk about them, but this by far is my favorite one. I would recommend this to absolutely everybody, no matter what your skin tone is, no matter what your skin issues are. This eyeshadow gives you shimmer colors, it gives you matte colors, it gives you very neutral colors. So you can do a lighter eye, you could do a darker eye. And I also feel like the texture of it, the creaminess to it, just glides on your skin. So even if you do have some wrinkles or some areas creases, this does not set in those creases or um, highlight your wrinkles. So you can't go wrong with this bad boy. This is by Lorac and it is the Pro Palette. Oh, I love this so much. Okay, going on to liners. My first is the Smoldering voluminous eyeliner by L'Oreal. It is a nice big fat crayon. It does such a great job at giving you that smoky eye underneath and this is by far my favorite. I don't even think I would use anything else in my waterline. For above my eye to do my um, the top of my eyelashes and if I want to wing out for a cat eye, I would go with the L'Oreal gel in black as well. Very rich, very thick and creamy, but does not smear, it really stays on well, has long, long wear to it. Mascara, always a favorite of mine for 2013 was the telescopic shocking extensions. Um, I also have used the black one, but this one, um, the silver casing was the newest one I used and it has such a fine tip. It really, really lengthens and separates your eyelashes. But then later on in the year, I did come across the Lash Out Butterfly and to me, I can't pick between the two of them, so I had to mention both of them. The Lash Out Butterfly is put out by, who are we by? I'm sorry, you guys. L'Oreal also. Oh. I, didn't, I don't even realize I didn't know that. So these two L'Oreal products are my favorite mascaras and I would recommend these again to all of you. Try them out if you haven't. Okay, so brows. Brows are such a big thing and I noticed that in the past year or so, maybe even a couple of years, girls are just paying so much more attention to their brows. I don't like a thick brow. My brows tend to be very thin on the ends and I have a natural arch but I have definitely in 2013 started to focus more on my eyebrows and started to use more products. There's a bunch of them that I really enjoy, but nothing compares to the Anastasia Brow Wiz in either brunette or medium ash brown. One or the other, they both work great on my eyebrows. It is just a very thin pencil crayon that um, just gets every little fine hair and defines your eyebrows the best way possible. The other side, of course, is your little spoolie to help tame the brows. This is my favorite. I, I, I'm actually curious if I'm gonna change my mind in 2014. I just adore this product. 
Okay, moving on to bronzer. Not a lot of people talk about the Dalton brand, but Dalton, I came, became familiar with the QVC. This is my favorite bronzer. I'm a bronzer girl. If you looked in my bronzer drawer, you would be sick to your stomach as to how many bronzers I have. It's way more than anybody should have. But the one that I always go back to and love the most is this one by Dalton. I love the size you get. It's such a big size container. I like the little extra door that keeps it protected and the color is just so beautiful on my skin. I don't know if I would recommend the deep for everybody, but Dalton does come out with another one that's lighter than this. It might be called medium, but check QVC out if you guys are interested in this bronzer. It's fabulous. Everybody thinks I'm in the sun when I'm not when I wear that. Okay, so for blushes, I have two favorites. MAC Peaches was one that I probably used so much throughout the year so i do love this one i think it's great for spring summer and fall but when i moved into winter what i found that i really loved was the milani baked blush and this one is in fantastic mauve and this is such a beautiful beautiful purpley pink color and i just really like as my skin i know that my skin looks a little bit darker today because i did put my bronzer on but i notice on days that i don't use as much bronzer this purpley um, mauve color looks really really pretty with my olive skin tone so even if this isn't your color i would recommend trying out the milani blushes they are so fabulous they are so highly pigmented and they're creamy and just feel beautiful on your skin. So try those out. Another product that I really was interested in trying out were highlighters. So I did totally, you know, pick up a bunch of highlighters last year. Some of them I loved, some of them I did not love so much, but one that I absolutely fell in love with and that definitely took way first place over any of the other ones is this one and it is the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. It's such a fabulous color. Don't be afraid by how it looks here. When you put it on your cheekbones or your arch right here um, for eyeshadow, even in your like inner eye, like your tear ducts right here, this is such a beautiful glow to it. It does not look sparkly. You literally just capture the light in the best way possible. You will look beautiful in your photographs. Try this out if you guys are looking to try out highlighters. Don't my recommendation is not to like just go buying all of them because I kind of did that and there are so many that just look way too ridiculous. Maybe it's for my age group, but regardless, it just, they looked ridiculous on me. I would go straight to the bomb, Mary Luminizer. I'm not steering you wrong, girls. This is by far the prettiest highlight for your face. Okay, lip balms. This one I've been using for a few years, but I grabbed it every day every day from January to December, I grabbed my favorite EOS lip balm. I just love these. Everybody's familiar with them and I, I don't use any other chapstick. This I even put on at nighttime before I go to bed. I put it on first thing in the morning and I make sure there's one in my pocketbook. They're so inexpensive. You can grab them anywhere and they come in tons of flavors. So if you haven't done this, which I'm surprised if you haven't because everybody has, try this guy out. Okay, so lip gloss. I spoke about these this year, this past year. I keep saying this year, I mean this past year. They are the NYX Butter Glosses. I only grabbed a couple because I thought these three colors looked so pretty together. These are a couple of mine. I think I have about eight of them. Um, I get mine at Harmons, and again, you can order these online. You can pick them up anywhere. They are so creamy, they stay long. And as far as a lip gloss goes, nothing has compared to these butter lip glosses. So they are my favorite. And then if you wanted to know for drugstore brands, I've mentioned them before and they are the Revlon brands. And I wanted to show you both a pink and a nude because those tend to be the ones, I don't really wear dark lipsticks. I sometimes will go with a dark pink and very rarely will I put a wine color on, but I do pinks and nudes every day. So pink pout and Nude Attitude, Nude Attitude is 001 and Pink Pout is 002 and these are my Le Revlon favorite lipsticks. They are my favorites for 2013. Okay, so lip liner also. If I never mention this actually, but this one I tend to always go back to. Very neutral shade, it is by Smashbox and it is actually just called Nude. Um, it looks a little bit on the like brownish side but it just, it, I can fill in my whole lips with this and put gloss on and just be out the door. This is such a great color. 
So, Smashbox nude liner favorite. Okay, now we are going to talk about brushes. These I found this year, they are Sigma, S-I-G-M-A. If you guys are not familiar, you can go online to sigmabeauty.com, I believe. These are only two of my many brushes I've been collecting this past year. I still use other brushes. There are many out there that I stand by that I like, but these have definitely gone into first place. It's my stippling brush and my blush brush or my face powder brush. I also have an array of eyeshadow brushes that I am completely obsessed with. So Sigma wins for 2013. Check them out. I promise you guys you will not be disappointed. For hair, I don't have a shampoo and conditioner to talk about because I really don't have a favorite in that area. I try different shampoos and conditioners out all year long and never do I feel like I'm repurchasing a certain brand. So I didn't want to really put focus on that. But what I do want to focus on is the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. I've told all my friends about it. I mention it constantly to everybody that will listen. Try this out. It is a life-changing experience, believe it or not, for your hair, no matter if you're coarse, no matter if you're fine, dry, it doesn't matter what your issues are, this mask seems to work for everybody. You only have to use it once to two times a week. You leave it on for about seven minutes in the shower, and I promise you guys, your hair will feel completely different. So it is Macadamia's Deep Repair Mask, and you can find this at Ulta. For nail polish, my favorite for the year, although I probably have a different color on every other week, the one that I always go back to, the most neutral one in my collection that I think is the most chic color I have found yet to date is actually called Metro Chic. Got it at Sephora and it is by OPI and I absolutely adore this color. You guys, this is such a beautiful taupey, grayish brown. If that even makes any sense, that's the best way that I can explain it. I am on my third one to date and it's the most amazing color. It's such a beautiful neutral when you're not sure what color you wanna go with. And for top coat, oh, I don't wanna leave this guy out. Sally Hansen Insta Dry, no explanation needed. It's just a fabulous top coat and your nails dry pretty much instantly with this guy. So now we will move on to fashion. And basically what I wanted to do was just say two trends that I absolutely loved in 2013. One of them I brought out a top to show you is peplum. And peplum is basically, you know, just that flared out waist. It's so flattering on everybody, whether you're small, whether you're a little bit bigger, doesn't matter your size. Peplum just seems to flare out in the perfect area at your waist where everybody usually wants to kind of hide under. And it gives, your, gives you like such a beautiful figure. And even if you're somebody who's a little more straight, go with peplum because it will actually make you look a little bit more curvy. So peplum was probably my number one trend for 2013. And then the other thing that I really enjoyed that came back out this past year were sheer blouses. And I just grabbed a couple from my collection. Again, I have a ton of these sheer blouses. They were inexpensive. You can find them anywhere. And of course, my favorites were the ones that came in bright colors. And these are so beautiful to tuck into a skirt to wear with leggings, whatever you want, sheer blouses. Hopefully they stay in style for 2014 because I adore them. One last thing I wanna say is my favorite designer. I thought it'd be fun to add this at the end. I wanted to just talk about maybe somebody that inspired me this year, somebody that I just really look up to, and that would be Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs, as you guys know, he does have his own line. He has a high-end line, and then he came out with Marc by Marc Jacobs, which is still expensive, but you know more affordable to your everyday girl. And he is also the creative director for Louis Vuitton. I hope I'm right about that. But I think he is the creative director from Louis Vuitton, which only makes him that much more fabulous. So I kind of wanted to just think, I just thought it'd be fun to add a designer into our favorites of the year. Marc Jacobs, hands down, best designer in my eyes this past year. So check him out as well. And thank you guys so much. I hope this video wasn't too long for you. Maybe you did need a second cup of coffee or wine by the time I was done talking. But I really, really, really love sharing these ideas with you guys because 
who better than to get it from than somebody who's tried it all out and really stands behind the products. So again, I am DBuzz with thequeenbuzz.com. I hope you enjoyed the best of 2013, and I look forward to bringing you my monthly favorites at the end of every month. You can catch them the last Wednesday of every month. I will let you know new products that I am trying out. Thanks, guys, so much. Take care, and I hope your 2014 is wonderful.